New patch notes for Splatoon just dropped. Let's go talk about them. Some stuff changed. It's time. All right, guys. So patch notes just dropped for Splatoon 3. There was a lot of changes, a lot of different stuff with it. Um, the biggest thing uh, that everybody's really talking about is that some weapons had their specials nerfed, some transfer differences and a lot of it, terrain improvements that's 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 been the main thing that everybody's sort of talking about so i thought i'd do a quick video real fast just to sort of go over what the patch did um at least the main stuff real quick and then uh sort of just let you guys know that and then kind of maybe talk about like what what we think is going to happen next with this game uh so le let's go look at it real quick so what you can see uh so far is that um the data transfer is five seconds uh quicker than before so what i'm kind of taking from that is hopefully like shots will register a little faster movements you know it, uh, it won't there won't be that much of lag difference between players and what's going on with it so that could be really big i'm hoping that does and i played last night it seemed like it seemed like there was a lot less leggy players um so so far from from like the the hour to two hours i played last night it felt yeah it felt different i i think i think it did actually do some stuff um this one's interesting fizzy bomb it increases the time it takes to start recovering ink after you throw a fizzy bomb by 0.25 seconds so after you throw a fizzy bomb there is a moment where there's some time uh before you start getting ink back i think i think that's that's gonna you know a 0.2 seconds longer to get ink back um which i feel cool with i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not mad about it uh i also don't use fizzy bombs so you know maybe maybe that's why i don't you know doesn't really bother me um Flings a roller, sloshing machine, and reflux all have gotten their specials uh, nerfed a little bit. I guess you'd call it a nerf. Um, from 200 up to 210. So a little more paint uh, in order to get your special. I'm cool with that. Um, of course, I don't play those weapons either. So <laughs> win again, dude. Let's go. Um, let's see here. There's so many patch note fixes right now. It is gonna, uh, there are changes to matchmaking. Uh, so it looks like, uh, gonna get into battles quicker if you're in pairs. Uh, just overall improved matchmaking. So, good. I did not play any, um, series last night, but I did play open, and open games were, like, just quick. They were just in and out. It was really awesome. So, so far it seems pretty solid. Um, I felt pretty good about that. The other big thing that we see here, and this is a lot of stuff, so I'm going to paraphrase this pretty quick for you guys. Um, what I was seeing, for the most part with this, is that Ultra Stamp is now fixed. Um, issues with uh, being able to uh, basically be killed immediately with Ultra Stamp. Um, issues with Ultra Stamp not dealing damage when it does a direct hit. Um, things like that fixed. Uh, also, there was, I guess there was a thing where Ultra Stamp would hit through walls. That's been fixed. Same with Slosher. Slosher will not kill you now if you're behind terrain. Um, you won't be able to get that hit on somebody. So that's really good. I'm excited about that because that was super annoying. Um... So a bunch of stuff like that, and then mode changes and bug fixes. A uh, lot to do with terrain, a lot to do with the map. So it seems like a lot of that stuff is fixed, and then fixes to story mode, and then some other general bug fixes. So that's that's been the main thing. It's it's a lot of fixes, which is great. So I guess you could say uh, Splatoon 3 released today. So awesome! It's really good to see. Um, there wasn't anything about Big Run. I've actually been loving Salmon Run lately, so I didn't see anything about Big Run. Hoping that there's some more stuff. We did get some stuff from Oatmeal Dome the other night, which was pretty cool. Um, and I don't know if I'll be able to get over to it. Let me let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, Oatmeal Dome. Dude, Titan's cool. So they did put out some stuff that I thought was really interesting. Um, 
new, uh, looks like they have some stuff for new emote animations. So, um, new emotes. I think we saw one that looked like Frieza, which was super cool. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. The robot. So we see robot looks like it's there. Some break dancing, which is super cool. The Frieza bow. Amazing. So there, there, there's been a ton of stuff like that that's been shown. Um, it looks like also uh, Rainmaker's been removed temporarily as of four hours ago for a bug that uh, would make it immediately go to zero uh, when touching a checkpoint. So it looked like any checkpoint on the map. You just touch it and it immediately goes to zero. That's, that's, that's insane, man. What What is going on? Um, so Rainmaker is out of the rotation right now. Um, I was trying to see if we could find the one where um, it said... And now I can't remember now. Apocal this Apocalypse Skybox is used in Square when Big Run is occurring. Oh, cool. So there, there is some stuff going on here. So new sky thing that happens during Big Run. That's really cool. This was something else that was weird. It appears a new special called Firework is in development. So there's been a lot of data mine stuff going on, which is just super interesting to me. Um... It, it, this is also super cool. So I wanted to bring that up to you guys too Just to kind of get your attention around it because I think that's really neat. I'm interested to see what else is happening um, With all this stuff, I mean it just Super cool. It's such an exciting time because there's so much platoon stuff happening It's still so new and I'm just I'm just excited about it um, So I guess what we'll leave it here with is that is that is basically the patches guys um, hopefully you found that video helpful. Uh, it gave you at least maybe a clearer picture on what was going on with everything. Uh, please comment down below with anything you guys are like, oh, that's cool, or, or anything I may have missed for anybody who's watching the video and may want to learn a little bit more about what's going on. Also, uh, big announcement for everybody watching, Kingmaker has their own channel. I will put that link down below, so if you guys are into competitive Splatoon, you want to watch the team I'm on with just some absolutely fantastic players, uh, please jump in there and follow that channel as well. It's going to be super cool. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys really like this video. Tell me about anything that you guys want. Like, what, what patches do you want? What weapons do you want nerfed? What do you want buffed? Tell me all that stuff in the comments down below. Feel free to come watch me over on Twitch. I stream Saturday through Wednesday every day at 4, so come over there and watch me there. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Be safe on those adventures, guys. Bon voyage. I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Some call me Captain and some call me Bob Some call me Dude and that's up to y'all I play Splatoon and Mario 2 Nintendo stuff It's big for the crew I had a weird fear of grass as a kid I'm not really sure if that's important We set our sails 